he left and started his own podcast last world shot to them the worst podcast ever i was there last night I don't know, if you know you know cocaine bots in the in the uh in the chat but uh just say no to all that though but bro uh that fool they went off last night i didn't want to get into that if you know you know they made history on the live last night compa raider and uh Lush, but Lush was building his own platform over there. Shout out to UA Hardfu and um, Mad Deep and all the guys over there. So he started over there, going over there, and then he talked a shit, but he didn't talk enough. He, didn't, I guess, he didn't go as far as as Adam thought, like it was too far, right? So when you, if you're gonna burn bridges, maybe don't burn them all the way, because he didn't burn them all the way. Like I burned all my bridges with the full community and laughed as they burned, because I just, I'm, I'm, I'm cool on those fools, but those fools aren't the no jumper, you know. Uh, I would be way more chill on No Jumper in terms of like pressing fools, but I respect Adam, even though a lot of people in my community don't. Uh, I've been around white boys, you know, I've been around content creators that white boys. They don't, it's not like they're trying to, they're not smart enough. They're not smart enough, bro, to like try to colonize us and divide us. They just want to, they're fans, bro. They want to be part of. It's basically Adam wants to be part of the cool crowd. And so that's what he does. He gets cool crowds and then he makes money off them and then sells them away. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> man maybe maybe damn dog don't tell me he's like a s uh like a slave owner or something because man imagine he, he builds these people up and then sells them off builds them up sells them off but let's so let's talk about who made it out strong but if flaco looks good compa raider already had all his businesses shout out to the hater world he was i gotta give him props he's been i don't know what's going on with the hater world. maybe he's everybody's having like a midlife crisis or trying to like say why are we doing this because that about those content is getting better and he's getting less disrespectful it's not relying as much on like that wannabe hate he doesn't say it's, it's a south side reaction anymore he It'll notice he'll say it's a blue devil reaction shout out to you for being smart see hater world's another one that got in that that is smart because look at he got in on some edgy stuff south side reaction oh i'm the cool guy i'm the tough guy or i'm the guy that doesn't care about the internet i'm going to troll the whole internet <laughs> you guys don't get it he trolled the whole internet he's trolling the whole internet especially the people of color in part so he came in edgy and then now He's starting to provide value, starting to, and then value doesn't mean it has to be like, I'm putting you on, which he puts people on, but also value is, um, is like, he's like, I'm going to start playing music. I'm going to be a DJ. You're going to give me money, donations for music that I play. And what happens is that music becomes in the chat, that music becomes popular again, that music that could help the artists again. What Blue Devil is doing on his lives where he's putting artist back up i mean blue devil probably single-handedly inspired a whole new chicano rap scene like in terms of going back to snapper i didn't even know who snapper was bro i do not listen to that south side music i call it south side music i don't call it chicano rap because it's horrible i never i never met a south sider that had good music until i met well peso wasn't a south sider at the time but until i met like doughboy 909 swifty blue all those guys when i started meeting those guys i was like oh these south siders really got something shout out to you know what I mean? The president of Paramount. <laughs> but so I'll, here, let me get into the chat a little bit. It's all above. Adam 16's weird allegations, compa dis and whack hood, Dijon's Paul situation, maybe even G Face giving up info about, ooh, no jumper. Shout out to Joe Bob in the with the clutch comment. I agree, bro. That's probably the thing. I'm not going to say 16, but Adam 22. I mean, even the weird allegations, bro, they're old and I'm not, I don't think they're cool in terms of like hanging out around younger people. Like he was hanging out with little, what's his face when he was hella young. I thought that was pretty crazy, but like you can question his morals, right? But I don't think he broke any laws, you know? And so if he didn't break any laws, bro, I'm going to still call him Adam 22. That's all I'm saying. But do I definitely agree with like the morals of it? But I don't know. I just feel like we've all had a stage in our life where we questioned, we did things that questioned our own morals. And that fool is a, is a father now and a family man. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Alvin is AC. Oh, thanks, bro. So why do they, can you tell me why they call him Alvin? My bad. I, I mess with American Cholo, but I don't be knowing the backstories to like when they hate sometimes. Because I, I generally, even though me and American Cholo probably have nothing in common politically, I think we, how we carry ourselves like i feel like he doesn't talk to me that much more but like there's always respect you know so oh shit i didn't even write said this mystic man says i'm saying putting out that edited video not norby's going to his place oh okay i feel you i feel you i feel you i feel you Monday 64 the internet is full of cheese man people love cheese man it comes in circles in every community oh yeah yeah it's true that's absolutely true so i'm not trying to say like we're extra bad or you know we can't get it together but every community has it bro i'll be in like 
I'm a photographer in the Aztec dance community, and no disrespect, because people think the Aztec dancers are like these super sacred people, but they're all they're like you and me. They're all coming to learn about their culture, to heal from their wounds, to build community. And even in those cultures, there's drama. Even in church, has anybody ever been to a church or like a Christian church that's popping? I went to this church called the Promise Center.